I love nature and wildlife. So, wow, I found this insect at the Grand Serenus All-Inclusive Resort in the Riviera Maya. He's on the wall. This is a stick insect, things I've only seen on television before. And here he is right before my eyes. He's big. He's menacing looking. I've never seen one in real before, so I didn't know what to expect. But when I started pestering him with my fingers, I found out that they can jump quite nicely thank you and he jumped on my shoulder from there he decided to make a little pilgrimage around my onto my back and the next thing I know I got a stick insect on my back somewhere and I don't know where he is yeah. so I had to walk down to Cindy because under no circumstance would I want to harm this creature so I walked down to Cindy and she took it off me with her camera and then the story just keeps getting better. It's an amazing creature. I mean, these things are, there's 3,000 species of them. Okay, it's not exactly a tarantula, but there's a stick insect on my hand. He's about as long as my fingers, my hand is. I'm gonna take him out into the jungle and let him go. Critters. Yeah. Okay, so on one side of us, you hear the birds, and on the other side, the activities of the pool. This is an all inclusive resort, and there's so much stuff to discover no. if you take the time. See, he's got eyes. It's really amazing to see one of these creatures because Master I don't even know what its body is made out of. I guess some kind of, a, you know, like skin or something, but... Actually, I was mixing it up back inside when I first was filming him. I thought his tail was his head and it looked nasty. But his head was at the other end. I can't get him now that he's on the tree. So now back at the room, I did a Google for stick insect and I found out some really interesting things. First of all, there's about 3,000 known species and there's even more being discovered. Second of all, some species secrete things that can make you blind. So the first thing is, if you find strange things that you don't know anything about, don't do what I'm doing, which is start handling them. Second thing, I guess it's just best to leave him alone. But I, I didn't want to leave him in the building because I had this fear that someone was going to swat it or kill it or whatever, and it should be let loose. That's one of the neat things at this resort is that it is very uh, eco-conservation -cons friendly. I mean, the amount of jungle that's been left and the mangroves, it is fantastic. It's also sad to know that some uh, nature shows create effects like this. Like I took this insect from inside out, put him on a branch, you know and I get close-ups of up it. There? I put him there. And I can make it appear like you know you stumbled you know across it in the branch? jungle. Because I put him on there. And that's what some shows do. But like with us, it's real reality show. You, you get to see me. You know, find the darn thing on a wall, take him outside, let him go, and uh, that's reality. Anyway, this was one of the neat things of this trip. I mean, there's so many amazing things at this resort, but even that little insect can uh, make a trip just more rewarding, fun.